Good day to you and how you be everybody, this is Johnny Agosto here and welcome to Taino Inc. Today's topic is should I get into the screen printing business? We're going to talk about that, uh, what you need to do, what it takes, how to start it. And the other part is yesterday night I had what I've been looking for. I've been, I've been starting to vlog, so I'm looking for what else besides teaching um, screen printing, doing test runs, with the screen printing, talking about ink, talking about screens. I was looking for something else and I just say, hey, why not? Motivate. That's what I did. For 15 years, I coached Little League. I taught them how to swing a bat, catch a ball, throw. But my part that I loved the most was motivating these kids to come out and play every time to their best ability. So I'm going to bring that to the video. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk about motivation and pump you up. And at the same time, I'm going to pump myself up, so it'll be great. So right now, we're going to head to the shop. I cleaned it up yesterday, so ready for video today. But I'll leave you with just a B-roll I did yet, um, two days ago with Mrs. J. Went to Botanical Gardens and did this video. Check it out. Got in the shop, turn on all the lights, get ready to show you the shop. So, this is the entrance here. So, let's do this. Welcome to Taino Inc. My office. Ooh. This is where it happened. Before this was, uh, there was a lot of stuff in here. I had to put a curtain and block it off. I only had this little space. But once they were able to move all these things out, they were on storage. My, I just came with the idea. I said, this is what the office should be because before the table was right here where everything is. It used to be like right here, the table. So. The office there looks great. Heat press. This is my heat press. And this is the hat press. The hat press, I don't use it no more. Because I got something else better. I'll show you in a few. But this baby has done so much. This cost me about maybe, I will say, about $300. And I have it for about four years going on. And it's still... Popping money? Come on. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Why I don't use the hat press? I use this one. The hat channel. Let me tell you. If you go to my Instagram and see the works of hats that I have done. Amazing. When I first got it, I had a lot. I had people telling me it's not good. It doesn't work. It's, it, it, it's not that easy. It's... For me, I got the way it works and love it. Makes my job easier and saves me more money than, than transfer papers on the hat over there. Is my shirts. I didn't want my shirts to be hanged on a rack, on a hanger. Didn't want that. Even up here, I have a few that I'm starting. I got two more to go. I didn't want to, I wanted to play some like art because that's what it is. It's art. Some people be like, no, yes it is. It's art. And here is my baby. This is where it all happens. 
Your target audience is what's going to make you decide what kind of press am, am I going to get. So my target audience is schools, nonprofit organizations, um, events, and a lot of these companies are going to try to save money because they have to, they rely on a budget. They usually will go two, three color print, um, some occasionally four colors, but that's usually what they will go for, especially schools. Especially schools is one color print, maybe two, like not six. Now, if you're doing a branding, somebody, go get a six color press. The other one, whoo, my flasher and my conveyor dryer. If you're gonna start, you don't need a conveyor dryer. You could cure your shirts with a flasher, but you will know when you need a conveyor dryer. The moment that you start getting orders, and you getting piled up, and the moment that first client that you wanted to get it on time, you weren't able to get it out on time, that's what you need, that. This is my table, this is where all my shirts go, right here. This is my couch. This is where I sit down, take a little break, and watch my TV. This is my bathroom, sliding door is there. And this is my wash booth. Yes, my wash booth. This is the last equipment that I want to get is the new wash booth. It's going to come soon. It's about another two months, three months, hopefully. But I left it last because it does the job. I put it, cut this little thing for a garbage pail and it works just fine and let me introduce you to my employee he's called Mr. Dip Tank once you get that dip tank let me tell you your life will change as a screen printer because at the beginning scrubbing those screens in a bathtub oh nightmare tough but I went through all that I went through all, all the trials and errors. I went through all the washing screens, burning screens, making mistakes, making shirts. Let me tell you, man, my first order. <laughs> Here, this one. My first order that I got was from a friend of mine. And he ordered about 100 t-shirts from me. That's, you got to look for your friends. They look out, man. 100 t-shirts from me. And I did the job. Few years passed. And then I come and tell yo, were you able to sell the shirts? And, and check this out. He comes and tells me, what? Man, those, this, those images that you printed, they were all crooked. One of them was too low. They were, I took them and I saved them and I've been washing my car with them ever since. <laughs> oh, man. That was hilarious. That was hilarious. So let me take you to my... Ink set up right here with my squeegees. Right there, squeegees. Beautiful setup that I did. Took some shelves, put it together. I said, this is why I don't want my, like I said, I don't want my ink all piled up all. I like to be organized. Much easier, faster, and better. And this is my clipboard. This is where I put my orders. I'm just cleaning up. This is my bins, I usually will carry white and black shirts. And every time that you're um, gonna order shirts for a client, you always gonna, you wanna get about two or three extras, just in case you're gonna make, make mistakes, which you really are. Oh man. Now is when I, I rarely make mistakes and I mess up a shirt. But before, whoo, you order me 20 shirts, I messed up about eight. Guarantee I'm gonna mess up about eight of them. We'll talk about that later. Now, this is the one right here that I built. Got the, built the wall because I needed a dark room and a, way, a place to dry my screens. And this is it here. That's my exposure unit. Awesome. And this is my screen rack. I took a regular ordinary um, shelf and cut a piece, made it together, got some little tools, some knobs I mean, and it fits about 16. It could be, uh, once I add the other ones on the top, it will be about 20, 
20 screens, that's not bad. That's pretty good. And finish it off with unbelievable how this little space, when I saw it, I said, what could I do? And I got a fridge and the fridge just fit everything. Microwave just fit there. Huh? That's another sign. You, when you're doing things and things are just falling in its place, you're on the right path. You are on the right path. So yeah, if you are looking to get into the screen printing business, my first advice is get started. Get started. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait around. Don't put excuses. Get started. If you cannot afford a press, get a single press. Get started. If you cannot afford a single press because you require squeegees and inks, get a heat press. Get started. That's what it is. Get started. Nothing else. If somebody gonna be, you got no space. You got this. You need to do this. How you gonna? You're working. And how you gonna get the time for it? You gotta. No. Just get started. And I will tell you, man, it will change your life. I've been doing this for five years, and I love it. I love it. It has changed my life. There's a freedom that I didn't even expect. I thought, I, you're going to work. Let me tell you, you're going to work. But there's a freedom you feel. And it's not a freedom of, oh, I'm just sitting down, doing nothing. No, not that type of freedom. The freedom of being creative, doing what you want. And what I love the most is meeting people, talking to people. Oh, it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. When you, the, your clients are, it's, it's amazing. Working with them, they'll let you know their idea, what they're doing, the things you, you will see that people are doing. It's a beautiful thing. So that would be my first advice is get started. So if you like this video, press that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, push that button and subscribe. And to the next video, God bless you all, be grateful and peace out.